All right, we made it. Night's final award. Before I hand it off, I just want to say uh, what an honor it's been for me to host this event tonight. I'm completely blown away by all the brilliant minds that are uh, uh, in this room and and uh, fascinating people that I'm talking to backstage. And it's uh, been a real treat for me. And, and just as a Latino, I'm, I'm just really proud. So congratulations. It's cool. <laughs> With that said, um, to present the 2015 Engineer of the Year Award, please welcome back to the stage the Chairman, President, and CEO of the Lockheed Martin Corporation, Ms. Marilyn Houston. It is my distinct honor to present the 2015 Engineer of the Year Award to Dr. Karen Lozano. Dr. Lozano is an innovator, an entrepreneur, a mentor, and a role model for her staff and students. She is both a talented and well-respected professor at the University of Texas Pan American and an accomplished leader in her field. Her research on nanofibers has the potential to significantly impact the fast-growing carbon fiber industry by enabling economically scalable production. Dr. Lozano co-invented an innovative manufacturing technology that produces nanofibers 900 times faster than currently available. Her work has the potential to enhance economic opportunity and community well-being around the world and it could enable the application of nanofibers for use in medical, filtration, in energy, textile, structural, electrical, and optical applications. As a result of her research, Dr. Lozano holds five patents and has 23 more pending. She is known for challenging her students to leverage technology and science to benefit the larger community. She encourages her students and faculty to take innovation out of the lab and apply it to real world challenges for the betterment of society. Her cutting edge, re uh, cutting edge research led to the university's first technology startup, Fiber Rio Technology Corporation, where she now serves as the chief technology officer. This is just one example of how Dr. Lozano has shown that technology can bring significant economic development to her region. Industry leaders travel to visit her labs and manufacturing facilities, discuss process implementation and procedures, and very often become strategic partners. In addition to her remarkable technical success, Dr. Lozano still focuses on her true passion, her students. She advises more than 80 students a year. She supervises and mentors a team of undergraduate research assistants, and she reaches more than 8,000 K through 12 students each year with her inspirational outreach program called Magic and Science. Her late chairman once said that through her hard work, Dr. Lozano transformed graphite into diamond, and her students leave her labs ready to pursue PhDs at top tier institutions or cutting edge positions at the best companies. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to present the 2015 HENAC Engineer of the Year Award to Dr. Karen Lozano. Um, good evening. It's such a pleasure to be here. 
I feel so honored and somehow pressure at the same time. It is not easy to share uh, the stage with such wonderful scientists and engineers. Congratulations to you all. I'm the one receiving, I'm the one receiving such honor, but I did not work alone. My team has been really strong, starting with my parents. My mom, who let me believe that I could be a scientist. I'm sure she, um, I'm sure it crossed her mind that I was probably dreaming too high, but she never discouraged me. Love you, mom. She's sitting right there. <laughs> My husband, he's such a strong supporter. This award should have his name on it as well. Uh, my sons, one of them here dreaming to be an engineer, and the other one a college freshman in um, engineering right now, and he, he couldn't be here. He's swamped by chemistry and physics and calculus one right now. <laughs> <laughs> and all the wonderful students and co-workers I have had the pleasure to work with, my PhD supervisor, Miss Jackie Michelle, and um, all the brilliant engineers at Fiverr Rio Technology. Ignite, inspire, that's our theme. And I can quickly uh, share with you a short story of my personal life. So my parents always struggled to pay for our education. My mom always prioritized education over everything. And I mean over everything. So uh, their hard work and dedication ignited me to do my best and to look for a way to help them. When I was, uh, it was time for me to decide on what is that I was, I was gonna study, um, I shared with my mom that there was an option uh, and it, that could be mechanical engineering, but I was not gonna do that because mechanical engineering was for boys. And um, my mom immediately said, naively, I guess, she said, is it written somewhere that is for boys? And I said, well, it's not written anywhere, but everybody knows it's only for boys. So um, she firmly said that I should study uh, mechanical engineering and should not be driven by stereotypes. Surely it wasn't really a stereotype, it was for boys. So, <laughs> but she didn't know that. So I was the only girl in the class, of course. So have I been told that I'm in the wrong place, that I don't belong here or there? Sure I have, and I still do sometimes. So the secret is not to pay attention to that. I could have gone and spent time and energy fighting for my place, which I really didn't have any place, or you know, asking questions why, but my, fest, my best fight or response has always been hard work. You can prove with hard work that you can do anything or everything. So gain knowledge cannot be taken away. It's a sure path for success, especially in STEM. Has the road been easy? Of course not, but it has been worth every single minute of it. Thank you, great minds. Thank you, the Mayado family and the Evaluation Committee for providing such a perfect platform to showcase scientists and engineers that have overcome many obstacles and can easily identify with our young students, or with the obstacles that our young students are facing. Our studies can ignite and inspire them to develop successful careers. Let me tell you the secret. You guys, you need to work really hard and you need to <laughs> and you need to have a strong faith to hold you up on your feet over again and again and again so this award represents a strong compromise that we need to pay it forward and somehow become the actors athletes and singers of stem Meaning, we have to go out there and showcase the wonders of STEM careers to the general public. The support has to come from all levels. Thank you again, and God bless you. <laughs>